155. 146. 141. I have a daybreak cage. Now this cage is made specifically for the raven and the idea behind today's video is to see if we could crack the 100 FPS mark. So the daybreak cage is a 41mm cage along with the corresponding daybreak wheels and we'll be using two Michel 2.0s so what we're going to do is install this cage into the Raven and let's see what numbers we get. Alright, so we got the cage installed and now we're just going to button it up and take it out for the chronograph. Alright, got the chronograph all set up. I've loaded up a mag with 18 waffle head darts. All running off a 2S LiPo, so here we go, and let's see what the kind of numbers we get. Here we go. There we go, we cracked the 100. 127. 147. 150. 151 142 155 146 141 140 150 132 144 141 140 126 142 120 129. Alright, so here's the test figures from the results. Just a side note that there were about a few shots hitting around the 120-ish mark, and but most of the shots were hitting around 140 to 150, so just keep that in mind. Um, I haven't deleted those results because they're about five-ish shots around there, so they're still valid for this. So here we go. The standard deviation and extreme spread might be skewed, but anyways, here we go. So we have a high of 155 feet per second, a low of 120 feet per second, an average of 140 feet per second. We have an extreme spread of 35, and a standard deviation of 9. So to draw a quick conclusion before I wrap up the video, this Raven is shooting 100 FPS, and in fact I did not expect it to hit 150 FPS, so I am more than happy with the results. Oh my gosh, that is amazing. Wow! It just goes to show with the right flywheel combination and the right flywheel setup, you can expect some really great performance from your flywheel blasters. So that concludes the end of the video. If you liked it, give this video a thumbs up, it really helps. And if you want to see more on Red Ninja Productions, subscribe and join the Ninja Academy. But until next time, see you guys later. Bye.